How's it going guys? What you're going to see today is a breakdown of the MG4 uh, LMG in Battlefield 4. Uh, of course, I'm going to give you all the stats about it from Synthic. I'm going to give you my opinion on it. I'm going to give you all the attachments on it that I feel are best conducive for success. Uh, and of course, you see some highlights of it in the background. Getting started, of course, uh, because it's, it's simpler to start with the stats. Uh, this thing is almost an identical copy to the M249 if you've seen that review for it already because the, the max damage is 25, minimums 18. The damage drop off starts at 8 meters, ends at 65. Its fire rate's exactly the same, 800 rounds per minute. Muzzle velocity's pretty high at 620 meters per second. Uh, the magazine size is fantastic at 200 and it fires a 5.56 by 45 NATO round. Reload time, whether you have a round in the chamber or not, is irrelevant. It's always 6.2 seconds, so make sure if you're going to be reloading this thing, despite having 200 round magazine, which you won't have to very often, make sure you do it in situations where uh, you're going to have the time and cover to do so. Uh, that being said, looking at the spread of this thing, just like every single weapon in uh, any FPS, except for maybe Call of Duty, it'll have some, hor or it'll have some vertical recoil, of course. Uh, this one's of course no exception whatever you put on it it will in it will the uh, the barrel will increase as you shoot that being said it does have a bit of a horizontal component because it does tend to lean to the right a little bit as you shoot this is easily counterable though as long as you just actually aim uh, your mouse or your control stick slightly down and to the left as you shoot uh, if you fire in bursts, or you fire uh, tap firing, uh, three to five round bursts or tap firing basically, you'll negate all of these above situations and you won't have to worry about it. So that would be my best guess. Uh, now for the attachments I typically use for this weapon, uh, I almost always use uh, the coyote sight or the red dot sight. I'll always equip either the flash hider or say, um, uh, the, well, the laser sight's definitely one of them. For, in terms of the barrel, I either leave it the way it is, or I'll equip, uh, say, the suppressor so I'm able to actually flank, stay off the minimap, reduce my sound, and uh, light signature. And with regard to uh, the grip, I always use the ergonomic grip either to reduce uh, the hip fire penalty accuracy, or I'll use the angled grip uh, so that way I'm able to reduce my first shot recoil by 33% while maintaining great accuracy over time. Overall, I would definitely say this is def uh, absolutely one of my favorite LMGs, if not my favorite LMG in the game. I haven't tried them all, but I will go through them. This one uh, is can give you great success in, in just about all ranges with the right attachments. Great magazine size, uh, fire rate, little recoil, and you'll see in the highlights in the background, it's absolutely great for success in just about all ranges. Uh, you can get away with hip fire situations with that laser sight attached. You can get rid rid of enemies from far away, dispatch them from just about all ranges. It would definitely, that and the M249, be the two I'd recommend for great success to just about anyone. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll see you later.